Hello, folks. I'm here to talk about Marvel's upcoming event called Incoming. Now, you might think that since it's called that, it might be some war epic of some huge proportions, but no, it's actually a murder mystery. And much like the DC comic murder mystery events, like Heroes in Crisis or Identity Crisis, the identity of the actual murder victim is a mystery to us until the series starts. So, before the first issue comes out, I thought it might be a good idea to theorize on who that intended murder victim might be. Now, before I start, I actually realize I'm probably inappropriately dressed for this type of topic. Wait one second. Okay, let's uh, look into this a little bit here. Hmm. All right. Now, from what we already know, from what has been profiled from comic book stories in the past that have dealt with this uh, type of thing, there's usually a few clues here and there, and I thought I'd uh, bring them up. All right. Before we get to our intended uh, victim theory, uh, let's let's take a look at a couple of uh, usual clues that uh, kind of will let us in on uh, who that murder victim could be. Uh, number one, the murder victim is connected to the Fantastic Four and the Avengers. Quite possibly we'll see some connections with some of the other members of the Marvel Universe. But as we can see uh, from the promotional material that we've been given, that this is a high-profile character uh, to the point that will bring uh, many of the Marvel Universe heroes to this event. Also, number two, it's likely to be a character that is currently without a title. Now, the uh, Marvel comics of today tend to drop uh, titles at the drop of a hat, really. I mean, everybody can, like, have a new number one every few months. But uh, it should be more of a consistent character that has not had a title for a while. Uh, all right. Now, what I'm thinking is here, now we have to trust the information they've given us. Uh, like, we have to take a look at all the characters that we've seen in the promotional materials uh, and see who's missing from all those. Now, granted, Marvel could be lying to us, but we're just going to have to go and trust that they're telling us the truth. So, from what I've been able to put together with these uh, bits of evidence here, I'm ready to theorize that the murder victim will be She-Hulk. Now, this breaks this detective's heart because I'm a big fan of She-Hulk, but let's take a look at some of the clues. All right. Number one, she is connected to the Fantastic Four and the Avengers. She's been a longtime member of both teams uh, with a lot of important storylines that have happened with her involved. Uh, a lot of her development has been through those two teams and particularly the John Byrne era of the 1980s and off and on with the Avengers since uh, even before the Fantastic Four, like Butterworth. Not long after her series, her first series, uh, got defunct, uh, she joined the Avengers and became a longtime member, essentially replacing uh, her cousin, the Hulk, who had not been in the series for a very, very long time. So she's basically been able to fill that uh, void. Now, uh, she is currently in between titles. Her last title was a couple years ago. Uh, where the more serious Hulk series, where Bruce Banner had been uh, iced himself, and she took over the namesake uh, with a more savage version because of her uh, interactions in the story Civil War II, which could be considered a crime as well, but that's another story. Uh, she had been injured, and as a result, she had very violent... PTSD, which had caused her 
uh, transformations to be more erratic and troublesome, much like uh, Bruce Banner's. Uh, so she hasn't had a title since that initial book ended after about a year of run. Uh, number three this is very important. She has never really died. And I know outside of comic books, that's a stupid reason. Because you could say we've all never died. But let's take a look at Marvel Universe. A lot of the main characters in the Marvel Universe have died and have been been done as big events. Now, granted, I will, con I will concede that she has been killed in event books, namely the original Secret Wars, but that was alongside of everyone and instantly brought back. Uh, not to mention the Age of Ultron, which had a time distortion thingy, and a lot of characters were killed as well. I'm primarily talking about the event centered around her being killed. She hasn't really had that. And if you're going to be a main hero at DC and Marvel, you need to be at least killed once. So uh, I think that's also kind of lending itself to this story. Also, right now, speaking of her cousin, the Immortal Hulk. Now, the Immortal Hulk's premise has a lot to do with all the Hulks in the Marvel Universe have died and come back, and the idea is that they have this immortality. She-Hulk, since she's never really died in this way, hasn't really been affected this way. So, I'm thinking this might uh, play into that. Now, uh, the writer of Immortal Hulk is one of the co-writers of this. So that's also it's a red flag right there. So, uh, I'm going to put my reputation on the line here and say that I think that She-Hulk will be the murder victim. Now, this does kind of bum me out because I'm a big She-Hulk fan. However, I have read comic books for more than two minutes, so I happen to know that uh, this actually wouldn't be the end of her story. If anything, what's going on in Mortal Hulk, this might be a uh, proper development in her character and where she is right now, uh, leading her and connecting her more to what's going on in her cousin's titles. Uh, we'll see what kind of effect that has. But, excuse me. Hmm. That's a good cup of joe. But, that's what I think. Uh, what do you gumshoes uh, out there think? Do you think that uh, She-Hulk is going to be the victim of incoming? Or, is there another uh, person of interest that you think should be uh, watched with a careful eye? Uh, let me know in the comments below and we'll uh, talk about it and agree or disagree. Uh, this is Comic Universe. You can like and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you can get the word out on the street whenever we have a new video. Don't forget, I also have a channel too, The Real Manos, uh, where I talk about uh, stuff. So, yeah, keep an eye out for those. All right, I'm going to hit the road here, so uh, push the button, baby.